Hello everybody, this is Piano Maestro Patni and today we are going to be just uh, learning about how the scholars mate, like how to win in just 4 moves using the scholars mate. So first you'll play e5, then they'll play uh, e f uh, e5, sorry I messed that up, e4, e5, and then we'll bring our queen out. Now this is not a good thing to do if you are an intermediate player or an advanced player, basically above beginner, but if you are uh, just like, if this, if this is a good tactic that works on like beginner players, so like people, if you're an uh, advanced player and you can use this on beginners to beat them, like if you're in like professional tournaments or something, or like you just want to like finish the game early, like in online games for example. So anyway, uh, so you can see the queen right now is attacking the spawn, so uh, the spawn has to get defended and the knight will come out which is the most common move. Then we bring out our bishop. Uh, so as you see we have a double attack right now on this f7 pawn. And now, most beginners make this really huge mistake and they play knight f6 and this just immediately wins for white. It's just checkmate. Now there is a way to stop this but I will show you that later because I want to show you one more variation on how we can win. So once again e4, e5 and then instead of bringing our queen out first we are going to bring our bishop out. This is more or less suspicious for black that we are going for a scholar's mate. So black uh, will just play knight c6 let's just assume like that's one of the moves that even sometimes I play if uh, someone does this against me. We bring out our queen and technically it's the same thing and then again if they fall for this the, our favorite bad move of the day then we checkmate and uh, there's one last way I want to show you how you can do this so you can get the queen out like this then knight here and then bishop here and if they uh, but this is more easier to stop because like black can just play here but uh, that's just one way because sometimes what I've seen is if you play oh, wait, my back. but sometimes what I've seen is that after we do this white sometimes just does this for some reason I don't know why it's just like d6 then we bring out our bishop and then they just do this and then I just win so basically that's how you win with the scholars mate uh, tell, let me know in the comments if I missed anything but now I'm gonna show you how to stop the scholars mate if you're black Okay, so now for a while, uh, now how to stop this? So e4 again, we all know this. So we will play e5. That this doesn't mean that you are under threat just if you play e5. It's not like you immediately lose the game because I'm going to show you many ways to stop this and even win for black. So uh, white plays here. So yes, uh, we will be playing knight f6 to defend this because it's the best move in this position. I th the computer will recommend this move any day. Then they will bring their bishop out. So now, instead of going here and just blundering, what we will do is play g6. What this does is it blocks off the threat. Now we go back and uh, we just play knight here. And as you can see, we can fiend out this bishop and then castle. And if white is not careful and just goes for something like g4, then we can play knight to d4, attacking the queen. And this is pretty much the point where white is just falling apart because uh, let's say the queen moves here, this is a huge mistake, then we get a fork of the queen and uh, king. So instead of that, uh, what white will most probably do is just move the queen back to avoid this. But now we can just take this pawn because white can't take our knight because of this fork right here. And we have this really strong knight right now that's in the center of the board and then we have also this knight which could cause some threat eventually. So yeah, white will try to kick them, uh, kick us out. But white's position is pretty bad, if you ask me, because uh, it's just falling apart. Although the engine only says the white is like down by, in terms of we only down by one point, but the engine thinks we are two points down. So like it's just giving an opinion on how the position is. So now here are some more way, more ways to stop this. So we all know this. Now there is a way you can just play queen here or even here but that's not exactly my I don't like the move that much because first of all your bishop is blocked off my bad uh, come on guys the arrows are not working and uh, the other problem is if we move let's say we move we move the queen over here then this knight can no longer go here so that's a problem and sometimes it can get a bit tricky because if the knight comes here they can come here and eventually just go for this and it's just I don't really want to get the queen out so early so just going for the g6 idea is better and 
uh, probably the last thing I want to just show here is just going for knight f3, which is the key counter gambit. And uh, this doesn't, uh, this is not too bad of a move for us because oh, yes, white will immediately take. But in this position, I just see blocking with the queen is the best option because if they move the queen away, then I'm just gonna get this pawn right here. So they have to take, and then I'll take. And I have a, we have a pretty okay position here. And also this knight is, this thing is under attack, so. We go here, and then just knight goes here, and it just becomes a bit of a problem, and then yeah, knight will go here, and we basically go into a normal game. But however, here is something you do not want to do in the kitty counter gambit. If you take, uh, and you move the bishop, this is not uh, the best move, this is not a good move. I don't know, though, well, it just don't like it, because there be, I'm gonna tell you why I don't like this move, see. Now, uh, the queen will go here. And now we will castle, which is pretty much what everyone will, would do. I wouldn't do castle, but I'm just saying what a normal person would do if they are not familiar with this. Then white will play d3. And let's say we do something like knight here. Then bishop can come out right here. Now yes, the knight can move here. But the uh, problem with this is that the position right now, computer thinks it's equal. Stockfish is saying it's equal. But we can go here. And uh, basically now... There's a really difficult way to defend this, like, I don't really see a way to do defend everything. As you can see, it's just stressful, so don't do that if you play the KD counter gambit. Don't actually play the KD counter gambit if you're not this good with these kind of openings. In fact, so just go with the normal thing, With uh, just go with the knight protection here and here. If you do this, then you're pretty much set to winning. Also, tip for white, if you even do try scholar but and they play g6, it's just no point going over here back just move your queen all the way back so that way you can like continue developing learn from your mistakes and just yeah continue so yeah guys that's it for this week's chess video this is a weekly chess series i'm gonna do i was going to do this in december end but i don't know i just got kind of busy later on and never actually did it but now this is the start of the weekly chess series i'll be making weekly tutorials and just anal even analyze games in them so yeah guys send me a game if you want me to analyze in one of the videos but yeah guys thanks for watching